Well, good morning again, everybody, and welcome to Back to Toast Time. Well, we've had some lovely sunny weather, haven't we? Hope you've had a really good few days. <laughs> oh, yes, Sid, I know, yes. Welcome to Sid as well. And <laughs> what you can't see is too bright. Sid, there, you just need to adjust your sunglasses. There you go. Sid's got his sunglasses on now, so we can both see a little bit better. <laughs> and he hopes you can see him. Yeah, we hope you can see us too. So, last week, we, of course, had to... <laughs> yes, I'm going to tell them about Blackpool, Sid. Don't worry, I'm going to tell them. So, of course, we had hoped to go to Blackpool. <laughs> Shh, just a minute, Sid. We'd hoped... <laughs> yeah, OK, OK. We'd hoped to go to, to Blackpool last week, hadn't we? But... <laughs> yeah, I know, Sid's very upset. He's a bit cross with me, really, because we didn't go. <laughs> Yeah, I'll explain why we didn't go, Sid, because I had to explain it to Sid, because he really didn't understand. Well, it was too busy, wasn't it? It was such lovely sunny weather, we actually thought that Blackpool, <laughs> yeah, it'd be too busy. There'd be too many people there. And we wouldn't have enough space on the on the beach that we, we would have to be closer, maybe, than two metres. <laughs> yeah, I know. OK, so we didn't go, but, well... <laughs> Well, I thought we had quite a fun time. Sid wasn't quite so impressed, though, because we decided to tidy our garage. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell them what we found. So in our garage, we found some old kites. So we thought we would try flying them, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did, didn't we? So on Saturday, Ian tried flying his... <laughs> yeah, it worked quite well, didn't it? Ian tried flying his kite. So let's have a little look, shall we, Sid? Because we took a video, didn't we? So shall we show them our... Yeah, we'll show them our video. So here's our video of kite flying on Saturday. So we thought we'd try it outside today and uh, just to see how well we can do with this kite. And uh, as you can see... Wow, that was quite impressive, wasn't it? Not bad. So we are going to try a little bit of kite flying today, aren't we, Sid? <laughs> yeah, and you're very excited. Now, first thing is, where is the kite? Here it is, down here, Sid. So let's get our kite. I might need you to give me a little bit of help with this. So here's our special Winnie the Pooh kite. And the big question is, will we be able to fly it? So you hold on to that for me, Sid. And let's wait, let's go. Are we ready? One, two, three, whoa! Oh, said it didn't work. I don't think we're very good kite flyers, are we? Let's try again. Are we ready? Maybe it'll go this time. What do you think? Yeah, okay, are we ready? One, two, three, whoa! Oh, Sid, this is a disaster. It's just not working. I know. Sid's got the answer, I think. Do you know why our kite won't fly today? <laughs> yeah, it's because there's no wind. It's such a still day. There's no wind. Whereas on Saturday, <laughs> it was a bit windy, wasn't it? It was just windy enough that Ian's kite took off. But that reminds me, this weekend was what we call Pentecost. It's a really exciting weekend in the church. Actually, it's the church's birthday. So we thought we'd share with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to read them the Bible story now. We thought we'd share the sto story of Pentecost. So Sid, <laughs> yeah, you're going to hold the Bible for me. You hold our special Bible book up. Okay, so on this side, you can see Jesus. You remember seeing Jesus in our Bible stories. Of course, Jesus, he died. He, but then he came back to life and his friends saw him. But then, after a few weeks, Jesus ascended. That means he went up. He was taken up into heaven, into the clouds. And the disciples, they couldn't see him anymore. He was gone up into the clouds. But they'd been told to wait for God to send his Holy Spirit. Sorry, Sid, is your neck getting a bit... Yeah, sorry, Sid's complaining. His neck's getting a bit sore down there. So the disciples waited and they waited and they waited and nothing was happening. But then... <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll let you... I'll let you... Yeah, that's fine now. We'll just show them this page. They waited and waited. And eventually, one day... Yeah, there was a lot 
lot of wind. Can you make that noise of the wind? <laughs> oh, that's not very good blowing, Sid, but we're trying to be the wind. It was a really powerful wind. And as well as the wind, Sid wants to show you that his friends, the disciples that were all waiting here, they had flames of fire appear over their heads. Absolutely incredible, quite amazing. And that was because God had sent his Holy Spirit and they experienced it <laughs> in the wind and <laughs> in the fire. That's right, Sid. And after that, God's Holy Spirit came to be with us. And that's how we can today know God's Holy Spirit with us. We don't necessarily see the wind. We don't have the flames on our heads today. But we can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit just through knowing God's peace and his power in our lives, which is really amazing. So we thought, just to remind us of that, even though our kite didn't fly very well because there's no wind, it's a bit like not having the Holy Spirit. It's a bit, bit dead, it was a bit flat, it wouldn't fly. But we've made our own special Holy Spirit kite, haven't we? And that, whoa, maybe that'll fly a little bit more. So if you want to try and make one at home, just get yourself a piece of tissue paper, make it into a triangle. We've decorated ours, haven't we, to say Holy Spirit. And uh, have a little go at flying that. And if it does take off, remember that wind reminds us about the coming of the Holy Spirit. So do you think it's... Yeah. Well, should we try flying this one, Kai? Uh, Sid? Whoa, that one might. Whoa, that was flying just a little bit better, but still not enough wind today. I think it's time for us to say goodbye, isn't it? Oh, I won't forget the goodbye song. Goodbye song. Here we are then. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you were here. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you were here. I, 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 glad that you were here. Okay, and it is time to say... Bye-bye from Sid and bye-bye from me. See you next week.